This is the KDD video for the KDD paper, Sequences of Sets, written by myself, Ravi Kumar, and Andrew Tompkins. This paper is about modeling data that looks like sequences of sets. So here's a little cartoon example on the slide here. Here we have three sequences, and each sequence uh, contains a bunch of sets that appear in some order. And we're usually going to think about these sets as appearing uh, in time order. This shows up in a variety of data sets. So one place would be email. You could look at all of the emails that I send in a time order, and there's a lot of them. And the set of recipients uh, on each email forms a sequence of sets. So here's an email I was drafting earlier. Uh, and there you see Ravi and Andrew are uh, the set of recipients on this email. We also see sequences of sets uh, on question and answer forums like uh, Stack Exchange websites, Math Overflow, Stack Overflow. So here on Math Overflow, somebody asked a question and they annotated it with three tags, the probability tag, real analysis tag, and open problems tag. We look at the set of tags that a given user applies to their questions over time as a, as a sequence and look at the collection of these sequences over users. This also shows up in social networks. So we could think in particular of academic social networks where uh, the set of the sequence set for me is the set of co-authors that I have on my papers. And so this paper here um, have co-authors of Ravi and Andrew. This is the fourth time we've all appeared on a paper together. Whereas Ravi and Andrew have appeared on 68 previous papers together. So there's a couple things that we notice when modeling sequences of sets. The first thing is that there's lots of partial repeats. So if we look at the elements A and B here, they show up several times. The second thing is that we tend to repeat elements from the recent past. So we see here the element C is, re is repeated from the recent past. We use these facts along with uh, a model that takes into account uh, set structure and the fact that elements and sets tend to appear together a lot to develop a model that predicts uh, which new sets will occur in the future. And what we can see is that accounting for set structure is key. If we don't account for set structure, this, this baseline model just does terrible. Uh, but if we do account for set structure uh, with this parameter p that you'll have to read our paper to understand, you can see that we do actually get a good performance win in prediction. So that's uh, the sequences of sets. I hope you read our paper, and you can check out our code online, which also contains our data. Thank you to the Simons Foundation and the National Science Foundation.